guys, how's it going? This is Mike the Swede and today I'm going to show you how to lock the turbo on the MSI GX60 and um, this one that I got is the AMD A10 F5750 M so it's the Richland one um, the reason why you want to do this I will show you uh, do, do, do. so if we get the AMD overdrive and then I'm going to put a load on the, the CPU and you will see what's happening so we go for course and we go full on here so at the start here you will see the processor is maxing out and it's sitting nicely on 3.2 gigahertz but you see after a little while it starts to drop down to 2.8 gigahertz so um, what we're going to do today is to lock the turbo so it stays on 3.2 gigahertz and as you see it drops even down to 2.5 gigahertz here um, to do that we need a software called bar edit everything will be in the description what you need to fix this um, I'm just going to uh, have a fresh one running here so the first thing you want to do is to uh, clear bits 9 and 10 on bus 0 and device 24 4 and bus 3 and uh, this is the one you want to go on so it's 0 DX and I think it's this one here the 0 DC um, and then you go to bits number 9 and 10 so you see number 10 here on the bit so on, on your keyboard you just push 0 and then number 9 you push 0 on that one too and then you write it and then you save and the next thing we're going to do is the uh, A8 that we have to clear the bit 30 and 31 so we're going to go to that one so you see the A8 and we clear bits number 31 as you can see there and then number 30 and then you write and then you save when I go back here to AMD overdrive and we're going to do the same thing again we're putting a full load on Intel burn test which will really push the CPU to the limits and with the uh, with this one it's the Richland one so but I have been told that this trick will work on the Trinity as well so the MSI GX60 comes with two configurations one with a little bit slower processor and one with a bit faster than used one and the problem with the GX60 is that uh, the CPU itself is quite weak so you will see it bottlenecks a lot of um, a lot of games and according to this website I pinched this information from they say 9 to 12 percent raw performance gain in multi-threaded programs and um, I did myself a little bit of, uh, of testing around and I tried different uh, benchmarks and when I tried the size of Sandra benchmark I actually got a performance gain of 20 percent and with that 20 percent on the CPU when it translates to the graphic cards you can gain even more than 20% and in some games such as Borderlands 2 and Left 4 Dead I, I saw a really really big gain of performance and if you're worrying about bricking your computer using the bar edit don't worry your pretty little faces about that because this will only write in the memory so as soon as you turn off the computer or even put the computer to sleep um, it will reset to the normal values again so if anything happens your computer might freeze if you do the wrong thing you just restart a computer and, and it will start with the default uh, settings so uh, there is not really any way you can do any damage to your computer uh, using this software which which is a good thing some, some other things you can do such as unlocking the BIOS can 
can really brick your computer and yeah that's no good if, if you don't know what you're doing um, and as you see here we're running we're running full load on this benchmark and it, it really never drops below 3.2 gigahertz so that's really really good so um, try this out and uh, I wish you all the best <laughs>